Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create a simple target tracker like this in the Spark AR Studio. So let's go. Hey again, so let's create this simple target tracker filter here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start creating the filter here in the Spark AR Studio, make sure you have ready all your assets you need for this filter. And yeah, the um, most important asset here is the picture of the target you want to trigger the filter later on. So for me, this is my um, yeah, logo, which you already have seen at the preview before this tutorial. So make sure you have, yeah those files as a PNG or a JPEG. So next thing is of course to import this target to our assets. This will just be a normal texture. So yeah, just import your target in the, into the Spark AR Studio. After this is imported, we can move on. The yeah, most important thing here is a target tracker in our scene. So let's create this. Just click on add object and then select the target tracker and click on insert. So now you will see this thing will move around and you will see this overlay here in your viewport. Yeah, just click one of the keys and then it will disappear. And you can already see the texture here is slightly transparent. The next thing is that you select the target tracker in your scene. Go to the right hand side and here you can see texture and this texture just select the target. Um, yeah, the target you want to trigger the filter with. So I will just select this, this is my logo, and this will trigger the filter later on. And yeah, it's still transparent, so because this thing could be, of course, anywhere in the real world. So the next thing is to import another texture, the texture you want to show when you point the camera at your target. So for me, this just, in my case, just an image. So let's import this as well and set the compression to none. We will also um, add a particle system later on, but at the moment I will just do the basics. So the next thing is to create a new object. We will um, create a plane object for this. Now the plane object is in my scene. You can all also see it here. It will just create it on the surface of the camera, but we want this to be in, in the face uh, in the target tracker. So just drag and drop the plane into the target tracker and now you have seen that the yeah, plane we have just created moved back to our target tracker here and yeah it will be at the zero position of our target tracker as you can see here at the properties the positions are all at zero 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 next thing is to add a new material um, I will just leave the name as it is, material zero, go to the right hand side, set the shader type to flat and then as my texture I will I mean, I choose the image I have just imported. So next thing, select the plane, go to the right hand side and select the material we have just created. So now you can see um, the plane with the image on it and now we can play around with it. So I will do it a little bit further. So it is here, um, yeah, add up my target a little bit in front of it. And now you can already um, yeah, test it on your device, share it to Instagram or to your iPhone. Um, yeah, the target tracker is like a face tracker. Um, where the target is, also this will be in front of it. Um, but now we want it to be more interactive. So I will do um, now an animation of my plane and also add a yeah, particle system to this target tracker. So I select the plane, go to the right upper corner and click here on this yeah, icon. And then here I will click on animate and here I will select um, float. So now it is floating up and down, but I want it to back and forth movement. So it pulses. For this, I will set the start at the end in the patch editor at the transition patch um, Spark AR just automatically created to zero the Y and here we will play around with the set. So at the moment is is at 0 0.11 one and but I wanted the start is at 0 0.1 and the end should be let's say at 0 0.3 and now you can see it is pulsing. I also want to change the scale of my plane so I select this plane go to the right hand side and set the scale to let's say 2. So yeah, it looks pretty nice at the moment. 
but yeah let's um, yeah add a particle system like in the preview I showed you before the tutorial so for this go to the to the scene add a new object search for particle system and insert it to our scene this also will appear here outside of the um, target tracker but we want it of course inside of the target tracker so it gets also triggered with the target so for this just um, drag and drop the emitter into your target tracker so now it will also appear here at the target in our 3d space and yeah let's play around with this as well and um, for this I will set the visible from the of the plane to zero so we can see this better so the emitter is now emitting things upwards but I wanted to yeah, move it to the camera. So for this, I will set the rotation of it to the X to 90. Now it is um, yeah, emitting to the front. Also the spray angel I set for set to 90 degrees and also um, for X to 90 degrees. And now it is yeah, moving around. Um, at the moment it's a bit too fast for me. So I will set the speed to um, 0.1 and the lifespan to let's say um, one second. I also want to have um, yeah little um, yeah spheres, so I get, get go down and set the shape here to a sphere. So now I need a material, so I click on the little plus and click on create new material. So this is material one. Um, yeah, I will set leave the shader type at standard and yeah, just change the color to this. And now it is yeah, emitting from the target here. And now we can also um, yeah, activate the visibility again of our plane. So um, the plane is here still um, covering my my spheres. So I go back to my emitter and just um, yeah. Let's say the speed from 0 to 0 0.15. So it is moving faster and the lifespan, let's do two seconds. And now we also see um, yeah, everything here around. So that was it. This was the magic about uh, yeah, target tracker. Now you can just um, test it on your device at the Spark AR player or just send it to your Instagram. Then make sure you have your target ready and um, you can also um yeah use the target on your pc screen it will make no difference to test so you don't have don't have to print it out to test it so now we can just um yeah test it and can play around i hope this tutorial was helpful for you if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye